All right, so dead to path. Is I'm whoa 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 what the fuck oh this is the reset blockers bug right yeah don't sit on your brother brett read by voice or exalt voice all right read your witness so you're saying there's a chance. My component, my opponent is complaining about our draws in chat. I mean, we didn't draw spells for a long time, so we were bound to draw a bunch of spells eventually. I don't know what to tell you, bud. All right, so during his upkeep, we're going to path this Rusto. If he has a counterspell, he has a counterspell. And like I said, because we have this idol on here, even uh, remand is enough to beat, to beat us. Got him. All right, uh, I'm going to run a quick commercial, and then I'm going to run upstairs and uh, put my oldest down for a nap really quick and make my youngest a bottle. I'll be back in, like, two minutes. I appreciate everyone watching the new follows. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Thanks for hanging out. All right. I guess we'll keep an R2, man. Since, uh, that's the only option since leagues are down. Thanks, Worth. Don't really feel like playing an eight man and waiting 20 minutes between matches. I mean, well, we both drew awful. Like, you know. Uh, leagues are down because Moto is awful is the only reason I can assume. I'm sure there's some BS reason on Magic Online. Uh, this hand's mediocre, but it's probably keep. 
I can see this not being a keep. And at least on X Mage, I can play. Uh, I can play standard. Can't play standard on this client. It's sweet. Not getting turn four Trond, but our hand isn't very good in this matchup. Like we don't have any pressure. I'm gonna draw like a cord and some mana guys. Not more lands. Realm Razor is in fact coming in. You're not wrong. We're gonna we're gonna get to try the Realm Razor. I've never I've yet to board the Realm Razor in. I'm excited. I mean, X Mage is less buggy than Magic Online. Uh, and it's equally as clunky and in terms of pretty it's probably a little bit uglier than magic online but like that doesn't set the bar very high all right so i think i think i'm just playing idle on like we're pretty dead this game we could like run off a kiki or a court i guess and like go resto into kiki i get a lot of from like can tripping a bunch and like this is why decks like Tron and Linear decks are good is because like game one the deck that's trying to interact with them will just like sometimes have a hand that just your interaction doesn't line up. Hopefully his payoff card is a, a Worm Coil. It's probably just like Ugin because we can never beat Ugin so they always have it on four. They play one Ugin. Oh, Worm Coil. That's great. Sweet. So he's two turns off of... He's two turns off of uh, Ulamogging us. We must have varying definitions of buggy. Like, I, you know, and, and issues get fixed on X Mage very quickly. Like, the, the cards that are broken that you care about. And if there's a card that's broken, you can fix it yourself. It's beautiful. All right, so we're getting Ulamogged next turn. So we just, like, need to draw Kiki. Uh, we could also draw Cord. So we have five outs to kill our opponent here. So we're going to fetch. And we're going to get a red land just in case we just draw the Kiki naturally. We're gonna blink our wall of omens here so he doesn't gain life. And then Kord and Kiki both kill him unless he has an Oblivion Stone or Ugin to follow this up. I guess he could have Karn to follow it up too. We get two draws at our five outs. And I guess we're not strictly dead once he casts Ulamog, but like we're, we're mostly dead. Hey, look at that. It's one of those five outs I was talking about. Got him. And this hand wasn't good in this matchup, but, like, you know, we have a combo in our deck, so get comboed. Bam! Skill game. And hey, I mean, I played my out. We had two draws to find five outs, and we got it. Ding. All right, one game one, it's a good step. We have to bring in Realm Razor and Fulminator and all these magic cards that are sweet. Uh, board out this, and oh, we don't want scavenging use. That card's poop. Um, Pontiff is bad. Got a Pia. Yeah, I've got an Eidolon in the main deck right now. I've been testing that. I think. Oh, we want the Stony Silences. I was like, that boarding was way too easy. Stony Silences in. Uh, usually I trim Path to Exile in this matchup. This might be wrong, but I'm not a huge fan of Path. Like, it's like, I like leaving two. Like, you don't want to get flooded on it. Occasionally you path your own thing, so it's not the worst. Lark is really good once the game goes a little bit long. Like, 
Lark, watch watch my quarterfinals matchup from Cincinnati, and like you will be instantly sold on leaving the one Revel Larkin in this matchup. Uh, Ad nauseum, Storm, uh, just random decks. It's good against uh, Living End. It's good against uh, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, it was great against Twin before they banned that. Courser could be a cut. I think I'm gonna cut a voice before Courser. In all honesty, I like I like Courser. Nah, that's not true. Let's just leave one Courser. Drawing two Coursers probably sucks. Uh, this hand is an easy mulligan. Uh, and his hand's got Realm Razor. Can't mulligan. Um, yeah, well, it's probably fine. You are correct that we can't use Co uh, Forge Gender on Kozilek's Return. That being said, there isn't uh, any guarantee that Kozilek's Return is strictly better than Pyroclasm. Like, two mana versus three is a big, a big difference. So we need a Fulminator Mage. Maybe that was reason to bottom the, the wall there. Hopefully, again, the payoff is Worm Coil. The Worm Coil payoff we can beat pretty easily. The Karns and Ugans of the World, not so much. This card's so much better on the play than the draw. I think... Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play the wall moments here. Path, all right. Play a worm coil, buddy. Do it. Worm coil, and then have a bunch of artifacts. Yeah, man, you got Karn. Probably carning one of my lands. So I'm gonna get a Temple Garden, and we're gonna path my Wall of Omens. I'm gonna get a Mountain in case we draw Fulminator. I don't think drawing Fulminator is gonna get us out of this game, but look, we're looking to like draw land and get uh, Rusto into into some kind of some kind of action here. Like he could also mess up too. Is our our out? Uh, missing the land drop after getting stone drained isn't great. Probably just dead, but we'll make him do it. Uh, all right, we'll play one more. I'm gonna get the forge tender. GG's. It's a good thing we won game one. Uh, yeah, nothing changes on the play. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't, you can't like judge your plan versus like their their nut straw. Like we have, we have a bunch of full minor mages to stop their nut straw. Uh, we're playing 61 cards in the main deck like uh, some kind of mouth-breathing heathen. I wanted to idle on in the main deck, and I didn't want to cut a magic card. So, yeah, you're not allowed to submit with 16 cards in the sideboard. And maybe the match comes to decking out, you know? You got that, that upside. Might play against blue-black mill. <laughs> 